G'day people, it's Chili here from Live Listen to Race, giving you a special reaction video to a Kate Bush song that I was recommended to listen to by a listener, uh, Braulio, I think, if I've mispronounced your name, terribly sorry, uh, but the song itself is called The Wedding List, also from the 1979 Christmas special where I covered another song from that one in a reaction called Egypt, so link as well below and up here in this corner <laughs> uh, if you want to go see that reaction. Now <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to record today because I actually I've just got a bit of a cough going but I heard the best remedy is tawny port of course. I told myself that anyway so here's to having some port to uh, uh, get rid of a raspy voice. So in this video I was described uh, sorry it was described as basically Kill Bill's story in a music video clip, or in the song itself. So I'm very interested, I love that film. Uh, I love Queen and Tarantino films, and of course I'm very interested to see, I guess, maybe this is an inspiration of sorts. I'm very, uh, I'll find this a very interesting video clip. <laughs> Another thing as well, I, um, of course I've got new headphones in case you noticed here. It blew my budget, of course, in spending it. But the way I was looking at it, it was on special, and bigger is better, isn't that right? It means I can hear the song so much better. Uh, but unfortunately, my budget on microphones and all the rest of that is zero dollars, according to my SO. Because um, unless this channel starts making money, then I can actually spend money on it. <laughs> and the only way to do that is to either get funnier or to get more subs. And we know that the first option is not one of them, so... <laughs> Like this video, please. We need to get more people. <laughs> get jump on, on jump onto your brothers and sisters' accounts and just sub them to mine and <laughs> see if they notice. <laughs> All right, let's get into this uh, video clip. The wedding list, Kate Bush, 1979 Christmas special. Of course, will be from the BBC Studios. So, without further ado, it's a bit loud. It's amazing to think this is all no, done. I'll never give up a hunt up and I won't make it up. Somehow this was it. I knew mm. Oh maybe fate wants you dead too. We've come together. It's amazing sorry, I'd stop that quickly. It's amazing to think this I think was all done in one evening, like quick wardrobe changes, get the scene set up and all that for the next video. Um that's pretty impressive. I mean, when you looked at Egypt, then you go to this one here. So, the 1979, that's quite impressive as well. That wedding dress is lit. <laughs> Slap the base there. How I met your mother. What's with the Amish looking dude just sitting there having a drink? <laughs> Man, the 70s must have been wild. Groom shot dead, okay. Is that John Lennon? John Lennon's wedding them. <laughs> Early episodes of uh, Doctor Who. No, no. I'll put him on the wedding list. I'll put him on the wedding list. She, a voice. I'll get him and I will not. All right, I'll pause for a second. All right, <clears throat> my analyst of the song so far. Um, bassline's very groovy, very disco-ish, and very of the time. Um, so far it's been alright, it's like a pretty polished pop song I guess of its time. Um, this moment right here when it changes obviously the temp, not so much the tempo sorry, but um, after the events of, you know, there's suddenly this sense of um, not frustration or whatever but anger and, and the way she changed her voice just then reflects that anger as well. The, 
the drop in the voice and it's much more um from her stomach you know um it's like guttural almost it's raspy and that's a fantastic little effort there and uh <coughs> terribly sorry i owe whatever i owe to um knowledge of changing it up in uh, lyrics and stuff like that the way that they sing to well several other uh, the voice I think it is the charismatic voice that's the name of the channel she's great um, opera singer by trade and stuff reacting to metal videos and stuff like that and it's fantastic to have a hyper analysis in regards to music I mean if you're really into it here I am just giving a grand <laughs> you know a very on the surface level reaction but she does a full in-depth analysis on her videos so I've learned a lot from her and uh, things that I would have ignored from before now I'm like oh okay maybe this you know and because there's some clarification so anyway back into this so this is when the, the shot was rung out I'll just round it back a bit and you'll hear the, the change of the voice it's really cool I love it so weird wait a minute <laughs> and now as I'm coming for you All I see is a rude deer I die with him again and again and <laughs> It's like a I cowboy Amish An Amish I cowboy revenge. I'm gonna fill your head with lead I'm coming for you Yeah, okay, okay What's with the graffiti up here? Pete seventy six. Is that a reference I'm just not getting? What is this church? There must be. There's a reason that there's got to be there. <coughs> Very weird. Um, yes, of course, the story of vengeance, um, alluding almost to the Kill Bill story. But yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll I'll discuss that at the end of the video. Sorry, the acting is so campy. <laughs> uh -oh. Of course. There is a lot going on in the song and the video clip there. It's a little bit... I have to decompress a bit. Hang on. All right, all right. So let's see if I can work myself backwards here. All right, so the first title of the song was very... Mm, subpar disco. I didn't really 
I was like, okay, this is all right, but not anything truly mesmerizing. Um, I mean, it did come full circle at the very end where it all culminated into one part at the, you know, when uh, the crescendo was re reached at the very end. So the, the, it did well musically at the very end there uh, to keep my attention, I guess. Kate Bush as ever, holy shit, man, her voice is incredible. Um, just amazing. You know, uh, the more I'm listening to her, the more I'm going, oh, damn, this is just, you know, one incredible artist. And before you ask, I do know that she worked with Peter Gabriel on a fair few songs, you know, um, uh, Frontiers, what was the new front, uh, Games Without Frontiers, and um, a few other tracks as well around the 80s. So, yes, I have heard her works with Peter Gabriel. I just, to be honest, forgot that she worked with Peter Gabriel. Um... Yeah, it, it's it's a great song. I, I like it, actually. As far as the vengeance story uh, goes, I guess that's a story as old as time. It's not exactly original, and I don't know if Quentin Tarantino heard this song and made it into a movie or not. I'd be... I'm, I could be corrected, you know, please let me know, uh, Brolio. But, uh... I mean, vengeance is always, it's an age-old story, isn't it? You know, I, you shot someone I love, so I'm going to get you. You know, it's not an original concept, but we love the way, we love the story anyway. We want to see that, you know, uh, the climax of the, uh, the end of that, of course, the story. So, yeah, it was a cool story. I mean, it was a cool song. Very different, of course, to pop songs, which are usually are. Oh, you know, I could be so happy, happy. Now, this one's about bloody your husband getting shot on the day of your wedding and then you're going on a murderous rampage to get revenge <laughs> for a pop song. That's very different. Um, like I said before as well during the video clip, uh, it was fan. It was an interesting little voice quip at the midsection there where she raised it and made it almost fa fairly guttural, which is unbecoming of a pop song. Uh to express, I guess, the anger within, and that was fantastic. At the very end, though, the vocals reaching those higher notes and stuff like that, mad props to her. she done very well with the song. Um, the video clip itself, <laughs> can't say it's that good, but, you know, it's late 70s actors, and, yeah, low budget profile, so yay, BBC, thank you for that. <laughs> Probably recorded all in one afternoon and went, yep, yeah, radio, let's go to the pub now. <laughs> That's done, let's get the editing team on there. Yep, yeah, very good. Yeah, so, I, yeah, video clip is what it is. It hasn't aged well, I guess. The other thing as well was that Pete graffiti on the left-hand side. I have no idea. I mean... Yeah, I have no idea. Pete Townsend? No. 76? Yeah, they released an album on that year, but I don't think there'd be any reference to The Who. Anyway, there was a piece of graffiti. Um, but yeah, look, the song itself is um, otherwise a very, very good song. I love this song. Um, would I add it to a list? Maybe. Don't know what list. <laughs> Kate Bush is weird. She's this weird... She's a musician that writes like very iconic music, but it's like, where do I, where do I listen to this, where do I add this to, it's not pop, it's not quite rock or whatever, it's not highly rotated 80s stuff, except running up that hill will be now, so yeah, it's just a matter of, um, I don't know where to add her to, but she'll be, I'll, I'll have a list full of weird music, and I think she'll be up there, um, I guess this channel is slowly becoming a Kate Bush reaction video <laughs> channel, I still got to do Wuthering Heights, so I don't know, maybe in about two weeks' time I'll have that video up. Uh, but yeah, this song is a pass. Yeah, I, I like it. I like this song. Um, so, yes, thank you very much, uh, Raulio, for suggesting this video. I think I'll probably have to also check out. There was another song in this exact same Christmas special that she did with Peter Gabriel. Um, so, I'm probably going to have to check that song out as well because well shit I love Peter Gabriel he's an amazing artist so of course I've got to do the honour and check that one out um, probably their first crossing I'm guessing as musicians and of course a chance to set up a recording and stuff like that later on in the future which we all know happened 
So, yeah, once again, thank you very much for the video. Thank you very much for watching. Of course, do all the social, share, like, and all that stuff. And um, if you could do the honors of just leaving this video clip playing at work so I can get my count up, that's great. <laughs> all right, everyone, have a great day and uh, stay spicy. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Live Listen Erased. And if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you share it with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our Chili Con Carnage crew so you can get notified for all the future videos that we put out, as we put out videos every Friday. Also, we are on Discord, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter over at Live Listen Erased, so make sure to tune in over there. And don't forget to like this video so that our manager can stay very happy.